Hi guys, it's Max here with Darts Reviews TV in association with Darts Planet TV. Got something from shop for you today. We got the Stadium Dartboard Light System. This looks really, really good. It's something a bit different. It's not a big circle that goes around the dartboard. You can sort of like place them about everywhere. Um, quite interesting. It'd be nice to see how bright they are, how easy it is to all to put together. But uh, what we'll do is we'll go and head over and have a closer look. Okay, so we're in our amazing dark room and we're going to unbox the Shot Stadium lighting system. Looks really, really good on the front. Got a little bit of information saying about how it uh, gives you a minimal shadow, it's pretty adjustable. Even comes with a dimmer, so if you don't want it as bright, especially if you're playing with a night and family around, you can always dim it down. It's supposed to be really easy to install, so we'll see that when we put it up on the board. And it's got 48 total 6100K LEDs, so it should be really, really bright. And as you know, 6100K is that really bright white that we love on um, lighting systems because gets rid of all the shadows and makes it nice and vibrant. Over on the back, you've got some information. It shows you what's in the box. The actual lights shows you what it looks like up on the dartboard and obviously some information about each section. But what we'll do is we'll get it out and have a closer look before we put it up. Okay, in the box, you get your information for fitting it up onto your dartboard. Obviously your four lights, your power brick and obviously your cables and your brackets. What's really, really nice, what Shot have done, they've even put these little foam wedges in so you can level out your dartboard. That's a nice little touch to that. But uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get this out and put it up onto the dartboard and see how bright it is and if it really does get rid of all these shadows. Box, we've got the instructions, shows you how to mount it up. Obviously, we're going to do the standard X configuration, so we've got all four lights. You can change the configuration to suit your needs, but yeah, let's get the first one out. First off, you have all of your brackets. These are nice, strong metal, so they're not going to break and clip out. Obviously, we've got our fittings, and we'll get the box out of the way. It says in the instructions to mark it and put the brackets where the little grip is for the number ring. We've already piloted the holes just to make it a little bit easier. Um, you could use a hammer to tap in the screws, but yep, let's get one on. It's really nice that these are already curved, so they fit really nicely on the edge. Let's get a screw in. Here we go. Okay, so we got all four brackets in. The other thing we need to do is we need to mount the wire ready on the back. So we're going to just check to see where the 20 is. The 20 is there. So I'm going to put it away from me. Then we need the wiring harness. I'll get this undone. Best place to mount it is in between the bullseye and the bottom of the board. I'm going to make life a little bit easier because I'm going to be moving it up and I'm just going to tape it in place. And obviously we have the four sections. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it mounted up onto the wall and then we'll get the lights connected. Okay, so we put it up onto the wall. I put a nice surround on and I fed the cables through so they're out of the way. And as you see, when you put the cables up, there are two slightly shorter and two slightly longer. Make sure the long ones are at the top and the shorter at the bottom, then they're all going to be the right length. So we're going to put one of the lights up. We'll start down here by the 15. Literally just slots into the bracket. And then on the back of the bracket, there's a little clip, which you can fit the cable in to keep it out of the way and then plug it in. And you can always pull the cable nice and tight so it's out of the way and tuck it in behind. There we go. So there's the first one. I'm going to get the other three up now. OK, so all four lights are up and connected. Now we're going to connect the power lead. 
as you see the power lead does have a dimmer switch which is really good just a matter of plugging it in and switching on and there we go we'll go up to full brightness that's definitely nice and bright really really shows up on this michael smith dartboard we're just going to leave it hanging down but obviously you can tuck the cable in first impressions the lights are quite good you can see on my hand they are nice and bright they are diffused as well so you haven't got like individual little lights on there if you can see that's it perfect and obviously all four of them all the way around so you're covering out and as you see i can hold my hand there and there's not any shadow around it so it's blocking out all of the shadows from around the board we're just going to see how bright these are so gab's going to switch out all the lights and shut the blinds just so we've got a nice dark room and see how much it lights up the board okay so we've darkened it as much as we can because it's such a really hot sunny day it's fairly dark in here without any lighting on and as you see it really is lighting up this dark board uh, especially this michael swift one with these bright white sections but normal one really really bright as well what we're going to do is we're going to put a dart in a couple of different areas so obviously the treble as you see no shadow sticking around that dart as well so gives you the perfect opportunity we'll try the bullseye yep definitely no shadows and treble 19 definitely not and just on the edge we put it there um i've noticed a ever so slight shadow just because it's closer to this light but that's not going to distract you at all and yeah it's definitely doing its job lighting up the dartboard really really well so the lights themselves a little bit harder to put on than just a standard sort of ring but yeah with the brackets the cabling and the fact that the lights are diffused i think it's a really really good system and we'll go and have a final thought okay so we had a look at these we put it up on the dartboard i think they worked quite well it's quite a unique sort of like individual light system so and they are decently bright and they're diffused which is really really nice gab ab gab absolutely loved these he likes the shop products and i think he's uh, gonna nick these for himself uh price wise these are 74.95 that's about right now for dartboard lighting um you can spend that on those massive surrounds which are really really awkward to carry about if you're taking them to like venues and stuff like that whereas all of this fits in this nice neat little box and it's easy to carry about um if you've got some of these or you're looking to get some head on down into the comment section let us know um i try and get back to you if you've got any questions and that somebody else might have a set of this and uh let you know what they think um it's always good to get lots of different sort of like views and opinions on them um, head on over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv there's lots of articles on there and other reviews and obviously you can leave your own review on there as well tick subscribe and tick notifications lots of reviews coming up in the future lots of stuff that might catch your fancy and hopefully i'll see you all here again soon bye